let's stop and think for a minute that as long as human beings have been sucking in Earth's atmosphere, we have had a tendency, a bent towards the drift. You talk to someone, they're in love one minute. Next week, oh, we broke up. Somebody got a new job and they're all fired up. This is the best job ever. It's so great. Next conversation, the boss is a jerk. The colleagues are rude. Somebody gets excited. They accept the Lord. They join a church. A couple months later, the pastor's boring. The people aren't friendly. And I don't have time to go anyway. And those of us in Caneo, we're studying the Old Testament right now. And we just kind of want to like slap the Jews across the face. Because all we're seeing as we're going through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy is the people of God are there on fire. Oh yes, God, we're with you. We're faithful. We love you. And they're blessed. And then what happens, Christine? They start to drift. And next thing we know, they're worshiping idols. And now they're being overtaken by their enemies. And then they're like, oh God, help us. And then they're right with God again. And then they're being blessed. And then what happens? <gasps> Start to drift. And the cycle goes on and on and on. It's exhausting. That is the cycle of the drift. But thank God, this compassionate tell it like it is, writer of the book of Hebrews is going to drop some heavenly wisdom on us about how we can resist the drift. And if I accomplish what I hope to today, I'm going to talk about what the drift is and how we can resist it. Because the key is anchoring our hearts and lives to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 